satire, mockery, poking fun at marriage, joking about it. Yani, subhanallah, more often than not, the husband will mock his wife, wife will mock her husband, people will mock the institution of marriage. They say it's a light-hearted joke, take it easy. To the level where now the uh, comedic trope of marriage is a couple who absolutely hate each other, right? And subhanallah, we wonder why children will uh, say, uh, I'm never going to get married. Have you, have you heard a child who says that before? I'm never going to get married. How come? Why, why, why do you, why do you want to get married? Why do you feel the need to uh, announce to the world your intention that you don't want to get married? How come? I mean, what is it? Has this child uh, studied the first, second, third, fourth waves of feminism and the philosophy? Uh, no, 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 you haven't done that. Maybe the child has studied the governing laws of marriage. No, the child hasn't done that. So why is the child saying, I'm never going to get married? How come? Simple reason. They've just made a quick observation, and all of the people who are married seem to absolutely hate one another. And all of the jokes about marriage is about hating your spouse. So why would the child want to get married? Why would the child want to do that? So joking, brothers, sisters, please take this seriously. Huh? So much garbage and nonsense is normalized via the vehicle of satire and mockery. Husband is mocking his wife. He's joking about her, you know. My wife is so stupid, she doesn't understand algebra. Uh, she's so boring, she never wants to watch cricket with me. Wife mocking her husband, you know. He's not the alpha male that I was expecting, right? Ever since he got married, his, his side handles are now flowing all over his waist, you know, his love handles. Before that, the tough man, but with marriage, it makes him a big fat softy. Yeah, and, then, and then husband, he's mocking his wife as well in, in public gatherings. My wife, they're always nagging. They're never happy. They always want more. What can I do? We can't keep up with them. And then, and then husbands are also mocking their wife, speaking about how boring his wife is. And she's always on her phone. You know, God, this is what marriage does. We were always speaking to another. We got married, she's now always on her phone. What message are you sending out to the kids when they hear that, right? And then the classic joke, right? Of a husband and wife planning an outing that does not include their spouse because the spouse is so boring. Can't wait to get away, right? To do something adventurous and exciting because my spouse is so boring. What message are you sending to your children when they hear that? Really? And by the way, these jokes are far more offensive to women than they are to men, especially in our society. Because of the amount of bombardment that our women are receiving, that you as a homemaker, you've had to sacrifice all of your dreams and ambitions. That's what society is telling her. Then she gets home, and we are adding and compounding to that. You're just a homemaker. What do you know at the end of the day? It's hurtful. It's damaging. It has real consequences, brothers. So watch what you say. And what upsets me more is when you see our practice brothers, sometimes our mashayikh, our teachers who are circulating some of these <laughs> jokes about marriage. A brother who is going to explain to us the three rings of marriage. Have you seen this one, right? The three rings of marriage. And he's writing on a whiteboard. The first ring of marriage, this is the engagement ring. And then the second ring of marriage, this is the wedding ring. And then the third ring of marriage, this is suffering. What, that's really, honestly, what, what message are you sending? Why would I want to be part of that? And what is sad is that this is happening at a time when the opposite of marriage is being glorified and enshrined within law. Homosexuality, lesbianism, promiscuity, sexual experimentation is glorified, magnified, encouraged, enshrined within law. And then the only halal outlet that we have to release ourselves emotionally, physically, is marriage. That only door that we have, we're knocking it down through our jokes. And then you wonder why, my kid, yachi, subhanahu, doesn't want to get married. Delaying, 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 why? because it's not appealing to them. It's not exciting anymore to get married, why? So brothers and sisters, why is marriage sacred? Why is marriage sacred? Because Allah made it sacred. Because Allah told us that it's sacred. So when you joke about it, what message are you saying about yourself? You know that Allah has made it sacred, yet you still find it easy to joke about something that Allah deems solemn. And then you will always get the exact same response, Ya Akhi, we're just being lighthearted. Why are you taking everything so seriously? It's just a joke. I get that, but you're still wrong. I, I, honestly, I really get it. But it's wrong. Because as Muslims, we don't believe, like we do here in the West, that comedy enjoys certain privileges that other type of discourse doesn't enjoy. You know, with comedy, you can, it's a, it's a little bit, of, a bit more of a free for all. As Muslims, we don't believe that. Comedy is also within the parameters of religion, like every other type of discourse. And even if we were to say that comedy has certain special privileges, those privileges do not extend to those things that Allah has made sacred. And marriage is one of those things, and Allah Jalla Jalaluhu has what? Has made sacred. Don't joke about it and don't mock it.